Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today clearly we've got a pedigree puppy here. I didn't expect to get one of these, I really didn't. I was very lucky. Um, nicely presented in that silver grey matte black box of theirs. Um, embossed shield there, a nice little sleeve. Depicting some of the scenes that's on this. It's, there's two cows facing each other and the mountains in the background. Uh, <laughs> can't wait to get this open. Anyway, let's pop this puppy out, shall we? So what we got? Okay, little slip saying, congratulations, you now own a Swiss Spirit Limited Edition 2023. Wow, absolutely lovely. So I'm super made up here. There you go, there she is. Let's pop this out. And that's that. And then you've got some instructions at the bottom, of course. Look at this. In red, not just black and white. Oh, no. <laughs> In red, don't you know? Well, that's new. That's that's uh, <laughs> quite interesting. Right, so that's that. There you go. Look at this puppy. Let's just take a look, shall we? Look at that. Get a close-up of that. I don't know if you can see that. That is nice. God, that's unique, isn't it? Guys, this is a work of art. It just is free layer. There you go. And there's the back. <laughs> In one of my favorite woods, uh, one of my favorite hardwoods, walnuts. Very nice to carve and stuff like that. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice tight grain there, if you look at that closely. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice and uh, shield there. Cut out. Look at that. Is that not lovely? <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was a little bit busy to start with, but actually, this is actually really quite nice. In hand, it's better than it, what it is in the pictures. Anyway, welcome, my friends. This is the Victorinox Companion Wood, Walnut Wood, Swiss Spirit Limited Edition 2023. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Absolutely lovely. This is one of 12,000 unique pieces, okay? inspired by the beautiful Swiss landscape and their precision engineering. If you look, these walnut scales are embroidered uh, with finely lasered patterns, okay? Uh, they feature the cows, if you can see the cows there as an, on that slip earlier, the two cows facing each other, okay? We've got some cowbells, of course, and the mountains in the background on the front layer, okay? Um, and on the back, we have... <laughs> trains which they're quite famous for of course um watches and clocks of course which is engineering right skis and of course your cable cars because of their precision world-renowned um engineering okay including obviously swiss army knives look at that just lovely absolutely gorgeous nice <laughs> Nice little positive lock up, of course. Now, what have we got in similar? Now, this is quite similar uh, for me to the Climber, to the Compact, and the Sportsman. It's an amalgamation, it's a synthesis of all three. And I think if and when this comes out in the Solidor version, this is going to be highly popular, okay? Um, okay, granted, this is a limited edition, and I'm glad I've got it because it's new to have this first two tools, well, one new tool, okay? Now, here is um, the Swiss, Swiss? <laughs> here is the Sportsman, rather, which is quite similar in some regards with the nail file, okay? Might need to move this down a bit more. What else we got similar? Well, I'm just gonna put the obligatory Huntsman because I love this knife as well. There you go, it's got the scissors, of course, like, of course, the climber. Now, it's very close to the climber. There you go, three layered knife, okay, with the scissors. And then, of course, we've got the compact, okay, which is a two layer knife with the scissors. There you go, all right? So that's very similar to all of those knives, guys. I mean, it's got similarities to all of these knives, okay, this particular puppy, the companion, okay? Um, just lovely. Now, Let's put these over here. Just an idea. I'm going to show you something else as well, okay? Now, for me, this is just such a unique carry. I mean, look at it. It's, go it's just gorgeous, guys. I mean, it's good in the pictures, but honestly, it looks even, you know, it's just amazing in the actual, in the hand, in real life. I cannot emphasize how nice this is. 
not just to look at, but to feed it as well in the hand. It's fantastic. Anyway, let's cut to it. So that classic drop point blade, of course, or drop spear point, as I call it, super general purpose EDC with that slight belly on there. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Nice flat grind, it can be a super slice, of course. Yeah. Um, any blade play? None. <laughs> Did things never had a problem with Victorinox. It's got four, four fingers, super comfortable with my index finger and the tang there. Just lovely. Ooh, nice snap. Let's do that again. Just gorgeous. All right, so of course we got the tang stamp there. There you go. Uh, Victorinox, there you go. Swiss made stainless. And if we pop this puppy over like that, of course you got Officer Swiss, okay? Absolutely lovely. <laughs> Just is, isn't it? So anyway, so what else we got? Well, of course, we got the blade steel, which is X55 Chromo 14, which is easy to maintain. And, you know, it does hold a reasonable ed edge for EDC requirements, okay? Um, it's got a mirror finish, which helps inhibit rust and a nice stick action, okay? And a positive stop. It does break and pull a five, which is engineered to do so. Nice and clean inside by the looks of it. Absolutely lovely. There you go. Just lovely. Now, We've got aluminum liners, which are classic, you know, standard aluminum liners. However, for me, on this particular model, because it's a dark walnut wood, I would welcome brass liners, as they used to be on the original models back in the day. I just would. I'd pay for the extra money. It's not going to be much difference, surely. But just, I think that would just make them make it pop a little bit more, you know? The brass next to the walnut. I just, ugh. anyway, that's just me. That's, that's what I would do. But Victorinox to Victorinox. Anyway, so nice, clean, clear impression on the scale there. Feels super grippy with this micro stippling effect, like a gun stock, if you will. Really is grippy. Real sure hold. Anyway, let's go through the tools. So we got the classic, of course, there you go, the six mil slotted screwdriver, okay, which also backs up as a um, little, there you go, scrape, if you will, um, pry bar, you know, if you do so desire, a cap bottle lifter. Of course, we've got the wire stripper former, nice half stop, and that's that. Now, instead of the can opener, this is where we're getting to now. Uh, here we go, guys. This is the new tool. There you go. This is the Victorinox box cutter, which I actually welcome. I think with, you know, most of us are not using can opening, uh, can openers anymore. You've got ring pulls, you've got, you know, just on the cans and things like that. It's just, you know, Unless you're out and about, it's good to have to back up. I'll take one camping, but that's it, guys. You know, you've got the obligatory two and a half, three mil slotted screwdriver on the head there. That's the same. Um, but look, this is for people. We are used to knives and EDC uh, tools and equipment, okay? This is for everyday people who are maybe not used to opening boxes and parcels with a knife, okay? So here, it's literally pierce and pull. So pierce and pu puncher, pierce, puncher, and pull, literally. And draw, use a nice draw cut there, okay? So I, I welcome this. That means that because some people, um, they're going to cut and damage the goods underneath, even with a short blade. So this helps prevent that, okay? Also, you've got a serrated blade, uh, blade there, edge, if you will. A bit like a Granton edge on a knife, which helps prevent surface tension. So it should be more efficient in the cut, okay? But yeah, now there's another thing. I like this and I welcome this. You know, all companies have to evolve, otherwise they become stale, stagnate, and they can go out of business, okay? So I welcome this. Um, you know, we have seen a lot of models uh, recently been retired, if you will, but so I was hoping and expecting something new, which is good to see. However, for me, this is the second thing, apart from the brass liners, this is the electrician. And I love this modern sheep's foot blade, okay, with a cutout there for stripping wire, okay, which I demonstrated uh, about two thirds through the actual video on the electrician, okay, cutting out a sheaf of a cable and, and the inside ones as well. That for me is, is much more uh, functional for me. So I was welcome that on here, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but then, of course, we've got the classic, uh, well, hang about, let's turn this around, that would be helpful. The classic scissors, probably the best scissors in the world on a pen knife, okay? Uh, I do like the leaf spring, but uh, also the Wenger ones are very nice as well, slightly serrated, but it is what it is, okay? And then, of course, on the back, we've got this little puppy, which I really welcome. I really welcome this. 
This is the nail file. Now this is medium to coarse nail file, okay, if you will. There you go, okay. And it's the nail cleaner as well, so it's a two in one, all right. Now, personally, I probably would, I do like the stippled one, the uh, diamond dusted one, if you will, whatever. Uh, that was a fine to medium, and it just wouldn't be so aggressive. Uh, however, <laughs> I'm just glad to have a nail fire. I, f I just find it super useful. I really do. Um, you can, with this type of nail file, you can actually use it for, for your nails, obviously, or something else. Um, so that's probably why they've included it. File down some burr edges on a bit of plastic or whatnot. And that's that, guys. Of course, you've got no scale tools, right? Um, of course, we've got on the back side, of course, we've got the classic, uh, there you go, the cor corkscrew, of course. And of course, we've got the multi purpose hook okay to carry your carrier bags and whatnot um and then of course we've got the obligatory 10 mil um three eighths of an inch if you will roughly um inox steel that is actually from memory um split ring so that's that for a lanyard or whatever you do so desire or clip guys honestly this <laughs> is fantastic it really is this is excellent the actual fit and finish is excellent i mean it's, i always say it's good on a very good on the victorians anyway but this is it's another level it really is no hot spots guys it's very good in hand well exceptional in hand actually because of this stippery this you know this fine checkering if you will just really is i love it um, is it sharp out of the box? We shall see. Let's check this video out here and while we measure it. So the actual blade length, of course, is seven centimeters or two and three quarters of an inch. The blade thickness, now from memory, it's about two mil, isn't it? So let's have a look. Um, yeah, ba basically a 0 .8, 0 0.08 of an inch or two mil. There you go. Okay. Excellent, so that's that. And then of course, the actual overall length is about six, yeah, six and a quarter inches, okay, which is about 15 and a half centimeters approximately, okay. Um, the actual close, of course, we all know it's the 91 millimeter, uh, which is about three and a half inches in old money, <laughs> okay. And then we have, of course, we got the weight. Now, I don't know, I think about 85 grams, I can't remember, let's have a look. 2.8 ounces or 79 grams it's even better than i thought fantastic so that's a lovely weight for an edc it really is so just i'm so happy that i got this i'm very i'm blessed you know um this is a unique and elegant piece um of super swissness <laughs> it really is why well it's very practical it's functional well made, of course. It's compact, reasonably compact, I'd say. It's UK legal, of course. And for me, it's good value for money. Good to great, even. Why? Because it's a limited edition. You've got this, of course, you've got the um, the new tool. Uh, you know, there you go. Even though I've seen this, I've seen modified can openers, which is something similar as that, but not quite like that, of course. we got, of course, the Jamaican army tool, which is does some have something similar as well okay but this is new nonetheless uh it's unique because it's unique to the victorinox okay so yeah i just think it's a good thing to have and they're moving forward they're evolving and i would actually this is a great gifting tool this would be a very special gifting tool for a birthday anniversary special occasion of course and i would highly recommend it if you're a collector especially i'm going to use this knife um admittedly light use of course but I'm going to use it and then I'm going to keep it in a box and leave it and um, let it go up in value, I guess. And I might put it towards something else. I might never sell it. I might sell it. I don't know. Okay. But it's, it's, it's a classic piece. So I might leave it to my kids. <laughs> you know, I might keep it in the family. This is not just a five star. It's a five plus star. It's, it's, it's really that good, guys. It's unique. Okay. Yes, it's quite expensive for what it is, but... You know, for that, it, it depends how you see it, guys. It depends on your perception and interpretation, what you value, okay, to yourself. So then, so for prices and availability, see the links below. Show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Stay sharp.